let's follow the lead from this uh, MP3 player to the loudspeaker box. And that loudspeaker box in this case is used as a microphone. So the circuit that I want to demonstrate now is a kind of one-way intercom. We go here to let's follow the loudspeaker lead and here is more of that loudspeaker lead approximately say 10 meters or 50 meters and here is the preamplifier to which the loudspeaker is connected so the loudspeaker is in fact a microphone here and then to the end amplifier and then again to the amplified signal via a loudspeaker box this is the schematic it's very easy to make and the good thing of it all is that we have here that loudspeaker we can use say 10 or 20 meters of wire the whole input is very very low impedance and that means uh, that you don't need shielded cable to get the signal to the end amplifier and that's of course uh, good shielded cable is expensive a simple twin wire is not expensive and here is the two transistor preamplifier and uh, important to tell these two capacitors here 1200 picofarad they uh, prevent that the transistors especially the first transistor um, is going to act as a radio detector you can of course imagine when you have a transistor and say a long wire uh, uh, connected to the base of the transistor this uh, wire can act as a kind of antenna coil that picks up AM especially AM amplitude modulated uh, radio stations in where you live so this these two capacitors prevent that problem furthermore there is a, a quite big filtering here and that's necessary this is the first filter and then the 220 ohms resistor and here the second filter made with a 1500 microfarad capacitor and that's quite high quite high value but it is necessary to push all the say disturbing signals that of course also can enter via the power supply lead to pull all these signals down make the power supply lead completely dead for external influences here is the circuit in real I've used it in practice to listen to sounds in a barn that was approximately 10 meters away and in that barn I had a, a loudspeaker box and in my home I had an amplifier like this and a loudspeaker so let's listen how that amplified sound from the from far away is now here amplified and this is of course normal you hear that strange sound uh, because of the fact that the microphone and the loudspeaker are in the same room so the music is pumped around in that in that case the and but of course you have to use this circuit in another room quite far away from the room where you listen to the sounds say 10 meters away in a completely other room so there is no acoustic coupling between the uh, the loudspeaker where the uh, sound is reproduced and the loudspeaker that acts as a microphone so due to the acoustic back coupling we have this so I can only demonstrate it on a low level and then it works properly
and when I had this in another room I could uh, demonstrate a higher output level. You can of course uh, connect this amplifier, this pre-amplifier to any other good quality um, end amplifier. That's no problem at all. Of course you lose uh, the typical high frequencies due to the way uh, this circuit was made anyway. That's not a big problem when you use this as an intercom or to listen to sound in another room far away, no problem. This will uh, work perfectly. I will switch off the music now. So one moment please. Because it hinders me in explaining the circuit. So, um, the circuit again, in practice, you see these big value 1.5 microfarad capacitor at the input. The coupling capacitors are non-polar uh, capacitors. They also have quite a high value. That all serves the need of, um, say, getting as much energy through the circuit as possible. And here I've written one microfarad, but in practice it was 1.5 microfarad. But anyway, I'm almost sure one microfarad will function. Here I write 440 nanofarad, so 0.44 microfarad. That were two capacitors of 220 nanofarad in parallel. And here exactly, exactly the same. So I think uh, uh, instead of the 0 0.44 microfarad capacitors, you can also use a 0 0.47 microfarad capacitors. The circuit again. Pay connections, the music that I play, copyright free music, and I've made again a drawing for all cases where you want to make the circuit. And you can see that it is very simple, only two transistors that are set to their maximum um, output level, maximum amplification I mean, due to the fact that we have here a 1k resistor and this is connected directly, the emitter directly to ground. Important to tell uh, unshielded wire and when you, the, the best loudspeaker for this applica application is a loudspeaker with a big cone, say 18 centimeters or so. It picks up far better the signals in the room when the cone is big so it gets more sensitive to sound. Anyway, uh, here do the, the filter circuit. It's absolutely necessary and the preferred, vo preferred voltage source is not the battery and the reason is that these two resistors here of 12k, both 12k, uh, will drain out the battery uh, quite quick. Of course when you use a uh, lead acid battery, 12 volt, of course you must use a resistor in that case to get some voltage drop from 12 volt to 9 volt. 9 volt is the op optimum voltage for the circuit. Then uh, it's no problem. But uh, the best thing is to supply this via the mains or via a very powerful battery. That can give out a lot of amperes during many many days. That was all to tell. Wish you luck.